lunch. <laughs> Gonna put curtains up. I got them from Amazon. So I'm doing multicolors. Uh, I need a. I have my coffee this morning. My voice. Anyways, <clears throat> so I'm doing multicolor because they only had like two oranges on sale and then they went up to like $40 and then they, so I got the two that were 16 then they had the green that was on sale, a regular 50 and then it was on sale for 20 so I only got one of those. And then I got a yellow, so I'm going to try to do a striped pattern, maybe, I don't know, I don't, I don't have to match, but, um, there's the old curtains and I'm just gonna put I'm gonna save that portion I don't know the this one that's still intact maybe I like it I know I'm sentimental it's just cuz I I sewed these <laughs> by hand I don't know I just love the colors but I know it looks and I need to just take them off but all right, I'm gonna do that right now. Let's go lay out the pattern first on the table, what we wanna do. So let's see the pattern. All right, let's show you the pattern of what we're doing here. So we're gonna do, we got yellow. We got a green, a yellow, green, I'm going to do oranges on the end, orange, and another yellow, because the yellows were super on sale, so I got a lot of those, yellow, and then an orange. Yellow, green, yellow, orange. Orange, like that. And then we'll do... So my yellow's out. Got a lot of yellows. These are used. So they're, that's why they're really cheap. I don't care if they're used. I don't care if they're used. Alright. And then we're going to do yellow, do yellow again, the yellow, I don't have, I only have one more green so I'll wait to the end, I'll just do yellow, how many, I'll do all yellows, yellow, and how many more yellows, okay, yellow, yellow, orange, orange. And we'll do yellow, green, yellow, orange. Perfect. Perfect. Got it. That looks good. That looks good. If I were to buy though all the same color. It would have cost me a lot of money, but doing it this way, it was only $60, so. All right. So that's gonna be my pattern. I gotta take the, I use PVC pipe because why buy curtain rods? PVC pipe is perfect. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And I'm leaving this part open because of the barbecue. Of course, we don't want to set the barbecue on fire. Well, now I'll put you back over here. Let me show you. Let's see how fast we can do it.
to tape these pipes together. Right. Looks like the circus is in town. <laughs> the circus is in town. of hungry is you. <laughs> Alright, I have just straighten this out and I'll yes, I want to make it just perfect before the sun hits. That's not coming down. I'm 
the panel to the extra well. Okay. <laughs> All done. All right, all done. It should be really a lot cooler now. Let's look. Yeah, my rainbow. My husband says it's like uh, we're living in a hippie house now. <laughs> but Shandon says it's like Hawaii, so I like that one better. Yeah, but then we'll pull the curtain back when we barbecue, of course, when I set it on fire. So, the wind's just gonna blow these around. Hopefully, we'll see if they last. But, $60, that's why I mix match, because they, they only had a little bit in each color. So, I think it looks good. All right, so got the curtains up, and they blow a lot in the wind. You know, my old ones blew a lot in the wind, too. And then they get wind tattered. And so, I was thinking, you know, uh, maybe I can buy weights. And so, I go on Amazon, and like you get 12 to 20 gram the most weights to put on curtains and sew them on and I'm thinking that 20 grams is not all that heavy and I have a bunch of river rock around my property so I took my scale here I'll show you I took my scale here and I weighed this rock out in grams and so one rock is 43 grams and this rock is super light too so and those it's like they want twenty dollars for 20 grams weights of 16 pack that's just crazy so i'm just silly i'm just doing rocks and it's working out so what i'm doing is i safety pin the ends so the rocks won't fly out <laughs> when the wind blows i mean all i need is broken windows but and I put it takes about seven of these 40 gram rocks just to keep it blowing that much so look at that it blows that much and that has rocks in them on the bottom I don't want to put too much rocks to be knocking people out you know <laughs> but look at so that's almost well, let's say I put about six six of these six or seven depending on the size of these and so that's how much it takes so they're all about 40 ranging a little over 40 grams each so I would need and it, it would cost me so much money just to even weigh these down if I were to do that so river rocks is all good you know so you just slide them in the end of the hole they already have holes open and I have a package of safety pins here for my sewing kit just enough probably and I'm safety pinning the end so the rocks won't fly out when the wind blows and there we go, or you can sew it. But I'm doing that, and so I just have a bunch of river rock. My dogs are barking at the neighbor. <laughs> it's not actually the neighbor. They, they know the neighbors. It's probably a friend of theirs, because they only bark at strangers. So, that's what I'm doing. Getting That way they don't blow so bad and get all wind-torn like my flags do. You know, that's the idea too. I will buy the weights though, probably for my next flag because my flags end up getting torn up in the wind and hung up on the roof. Never thought about weighing those down. Alrighty, let me get to this project here. There's the rocks. Alright, that's it for that. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe. Ooh.